Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to day 7 of the 10 day rings to make and sell challenge. Be sure to check out all the details about the challenge in the description below the video. Today we're making fidget rings inspired by some previous tutorials. I will link them up in the description below this video. What you're going to need for the project are your tools, a ring mandrel, some wire, a variety of beads. And for the first one, I'm going to use 18 gauge wire, cut about 10 inches and bend it at a right angle and then hold it on a round form and just make a circle. So we're just going to bring the wire right around to form a circle do any size that you want and we're just going to give it a twist around to close the circle and then take that shorter end and bend it across. So we're just going to bend the other wire to the back to form the ring band and we're going to clip it and then we're going to stick that one inside, put it back on the ring mandrel put it in the position that you want for your size and then just take that end and bend it over. So we're just going to push it over to close it. Then we'll remove it from the mandrel. Take the end with the pliers to pull it tighter, cut it flush, and then we want to take the flat pliers again to pinch it in to hold it in place. From there we'll put it back on the ring mandrel. We'll take the wire, pull it straight across on an angle and then we can put a four millimeter miracle bead. And then we're just going to take the end, bring it through the loop just bring it all the way through there. My wire is a little bit long. I could have trimmed it. We're going to tug it just so it's nice and secure in there. Pinch it so it won't slide too much back and forth. Straighten out the wire. And then we want to hold it in place and bend it across at an angle. This is a very simple design similar to one I've done previously. And we're going to put another miracle bead. You can put as many as you want, depending on the size of the ring. And then we'll just take the end and bend it over. Just bring it right to the back. And we can push it through with the flat pliers and then clip it with the flush cutters. And just pinch in that pokey end to hold it in place. Just using the Zeron tweezer nose pliers, put it back on the ring mandle to adjust it. And we can just adjust the wire out a little bit so the beads aren't rubbing on the finger and just pushing the wires out a little bit and that way the beads go freely back and forth. And there's the finished ring. So for the second one, it's a little more fancy. This is more of a novelty ring. It's a little more cumbersome, but it's fun. So we're going to put it on the ring mandrel and bring it around at the size that you want and pull the end around. Hold the end with the flat pliers to pull it more snugly and clip it flush. So from there we can push that end right down so it's not pokey. Pinch it in place. And then I'm going to take the end and pull it straight out. Remove it from the ring mandrel. And I'm going to take my round pliers and just turn it around 
just to curve it right around there. And then I'm taking the round pliers and just going slowly, just a little tiny bends at a time to curve it around into a spiral. So we're working from the inside out and just gently do little tiny bends to curve it around. And we want to have enough distance between the wires so the beads will be able to run along the wires. So just keep turning it slowly, slowly around into a spiral. And you can make this as large as you want. And like I said, it's more of a novelty ring. It's a little more fragile, but it's super fun. And this is the 18 gauge wire. So it, it's a little more firm than 20 gauge. And we're gonna put the miracle beads on there. These are four millimeter miracle beads. I like the miracle beads because the colors are beautiful and the holes are a little bit bigger than some other beads. So they move quite nicely on the spiral. Put as many on there as you want. I've got all kinds of nice rainbow colors in the miracle beads. I'll link up where you can get them in the description below. We're going to take the end, bend it over at a right angle. I'm going to clip it a little bit shorter. And then we're going to bend it around again because we want it to hook into the ring band. So just keep bending it around until it's securely on the band there. Pinch it in with the tweezer nose pliers to hold it in place. Give it a good little pinch, cut it flush. And then we're gonna get the flat pliers again just to pinch in that pokey end. And from there, we're just going to check it, make any little adjustments that you need Make sure that end is nice and securely in place. Put it back on the ring mandrel. Make sure the band is nice and curved. And just adjust it so the beads are able to run along the wires. And there you see the beads will move around for a really cool fidget ring. The challenge will be happening from June 12th to June 21st, 2023. Be sure to join my private Facebook group to share photos of your creations from the 10 day challenge. Participants that complete all 10 challenges will be eligible to win great prizes, including wire from Beadlon, this amazing stepped ring mandrel, and custom wire jewelry from my Etsy shop. If you don't have Facebook, you can email me photos of all 10 rings at the end of the challenge to be eligible to win these great prizes. The Facebook group will be open for a limited time during the challenge and will be reopened at future dates for future challenges. Please note this is a private Facebook group, so anything that you post in the group will not appear on your regular timeline. Be sure to check out all the details about the challenge in the description below the video. Have fun with the challenges and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time.